Hi, this is Mark Nelson with Rio Grande's tech support team here to welcome you to the Rio Grande video series on soldering. Basically what soldering is is really just joining two pieces of metal together using a filler material. Now that filler material has got to be of a lower melting temperature than the two pieces that you're trying to join. And in jewelry making we have two different types. We have soft soldering and we have hard soldering. Now soft soldering is called soft soldering because it, uh, when you're done soldering, the solder is actually soft. You can actually gouge it with your fingernail. And it usually melts at a lower temperature range, around 200 to maybe about 500 degrees. And the solders that we carry for that would be things like Tix, Stay Bright, and Solder Fast for Silver. These you can all use with a, a soldering iron or a torch with a soft, bushy flame. What happens in soft soldering is when that solder flows, it just adheres to the surface of the two pieces that you're trying to join. So really, it's, it's not a very strong joint. Uh, but because it is such a low melting temperature, you can do some things that you couldn't normally do with hard soldering. With hard soldering, the temperature range usually starts around 850 degrees on up. And the solders that we carry, the, mo the lowest temperature is about 1100 degrees. So you're going to have to use a torch. And uh, what happens there is when the solder flows, the solder creates a molecular bond to both sheets of metal that you're trying to join. So this joint is very, very strong. Hotter solders include silver solders, gold solders, even the copper, brass, and bronze solders that we carry. And to better explain what exactly happens during that process, we have a great video from our friends at the Gemological Institute of America that put together the video using live action so you get to see the torch and the ring and the solder, and also some animation and where they, they kind of call out and uh, show you what happens with the molecules as you're soldering. So check it out and I hope you enjoy it. Soldering is one of the basic processes used in jewelry fabrication and repair. Some important considerations in the soldering process, more correctly called the conduction soldering process, will help you establish good habits that will yield strong and undetectable solder joints. In physics, conduction means the transmission of heat either through an object or by a thermal conductor in physical contact with an object. In this case, the torch is used to heat the shank which acts as the thermal conductor transferring the heat to the solder. As the temperature of the shank rises and meets the flow temperature of the solder, the solder will flow through the joint. On a molecular level, capillary action is taking place. Capillary action occurs when the parent metal is heated and its molecules begin to expand. As the solder flows, its molecules interweave with the parent metal's molecules. When the heat is removed, all the molecules contract, resulting in a strong solder joint. Using the conduction soldering technique will allow strong molecular bonding without overheating the solder. If you have a good color match with your solder, the joint should be virtually undetectable to the unaided eye. Welcome back, and I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I do. For more information or to view other videos, please visit us on our website at riogrande.com.